Hello, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen. This is Septon Gaming. So, uh, we're going to demonstrate what my uh, settings look like for the uh, the battery packs and how I, I charge them. This was requested by Wix on my comment for the power tower or the tower of power. So I'm running from my blimp tower that I was making all the way down here to make this quick video for you, Wix, and for anyone else who's curious about it works. It took me a couple of tries to actually get it to work because I was having issues where things would keep turning off and nothing would run, especially my uh, auto miners and whatnot. They would all just fall down. Oh, yeah, we'll fix that. We did some remodeling. We didn't fix all the remodels. Leaving vehicles out I'll never use just to at least decorate the place. All right, let's get in here. All right, so first things first, we're going to... Uh, let's get up to the battery room, so uh, we don't have that, so let's get our, uh, our wiring tools so we can see the wires a little easier. Let's take this guy. All right, pop her in there. Now, I've done wiring. I've never wired with these tools before in my life. I mean, I can understand you could possibly do some of it, but uh, I wouldn't. I use crimpers and stuff in real life. So here's our output, all right, and it all is joined in here. Through couplers and it all comes down to this uh, coupler which is sends us out here and this is coming in another coupler we put it into the house and we're outputting this into another coupler you could probably just run straight through but it was quite a distance so i had to i just stood there because i didn't know if there's going to be any more power sources coming from outside anyway it runs all the way in and it comes in through here uh, probably that one there there, there's our total power coming in, and it comes up to a splitter. Now the splitter is sending, uh, let's see, we got one splitter coming out to a large titanium battery. Then we've got the other splitter coming out to another large titanium battery. And then it was like, uh-oh, <laughs> we need more batteries. So I put an extended splitter down here, right? So it's all coming into a splitters. So what has to happen is each power, like every source of power, each battery needs its own individual uh, source. You can't daisy chain them, right? If you daisy chain them, they only have a max output of 500, right? So I put all the power into these to charge them all. Then each battery's output goes into the coupler, right? And we had to put another extended coupler down here as well because we added more batteries. So they could all be running into this one coupler, but that was the original design. I want to make it nicer looking when I can put things back on the walls again, but these only fit on the floors, so I apologize for the mess. But all of these have to go into a coupler, right? And then from the coupler, it goes into a splitter, and from there, it goes out. This guarantees we're always running at the maximum power that we have available. If you daisy chain, it will not work. Um, I hope this is enough to explain and it's understandable. I don't mind these signs, they're wrong. I was doing math at the beginning, they could probably go now. Um, so again, just to recap, all the power from your power source needs to come in through coupler, needs to come into here, and then you want to split it into the input to each one of these batteries. And then you want to take the output from each one of these battery banks and put them into a coupler itself. So you'll need, you know, as many couplers or coupler inputs as you have batteries and those couplers will all go into a splitter and from those splitters you will power everything in your base. So I hope that works and you like it and uh, I think Frankie approves. It's hard to say. Bob's unamused. All right well thanks for watching. I hope that worked. Have a good day. <laughs>